Hi, I'm Lucian Dodge, and I play Dust in Dust and Elysian Tale. And I'm Erica Mendez, and I play Corbin in Dust and Elysian Tale. And you're, and you're watching, watching Three Bros and a Sissy. And a Sissy? <laughs> Guys, I am Core of Murder 15. And I'm the Fallen Gunbot. And welcome to a new series of Three Bros and Sissy, where today I'll be playing one of, the, in my opinion, one of the best games ever played in a really, really long time Dust and Elysian Tale. And I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I know this game. Do you? Yes, the co I remember because that's a fox creature. Nicole and I watched this thing. And uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's this one. Yeah. I don't care for it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you serious right now? It's okay. I love this game. I think it's one of the best games ever. But um, it's got a fox character now. Are you in yeah, they're all they're all fur. They're well, technically furries. God. Okay. Um, before we get started, I would like to give a special special thanks to Lucian Dodge and Erica Mendez who voice Dust and Corbin in the game. I had the privilege of meeting them at Yamacon 2014. And thank you guys so much for doing that little intro for me, for us on the show. Um, we know that you technically didn't have to do that for us and everything, but we, we greatly, greatly thank you for that. So uh, without further ado, um, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Our world has fallen to fade. No, you're not doing that either. The great works. You're not. Shut up. <laughs> Let the voice actors do their job. I don't even hear them. Well, the we can't because of the audio. Of oh. I Lord can turn up a little bit, I think. What was once a land of so you can kind of hear it because, like, if we turn like it up, sort. I want to make that sort. If we turn it up too loud, then it's going to get on the audio on the phone, so. which is what we used to record our audio. <laughs> but, oh, okay. So speaking of voice actors, mm -hmm. um, little backstory on this too. Um, do you know uh, Shavox? On yes. YouTube, Shady Vox. Okay, he started Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Abridged, uh -huh. and he's the guy who does Jaden's voice. And he's also the voice of Alpha in the series Tome. Oh, okay. He did a voice, or, or like a one-line voice in this game, too. So Shady Vox is in this game, too. I forget his real name, but... You know, it's just really cool to see, like, who all's in video games and such. Like, who's doing the voice. I'm in a video game. Which one? The Arise. one that we did for the Nintendo. What do you mean the one we did for the Nintendo? The one I was like, hey, you choose me. I'm like, really? Yeah, really? <sighs> A talking sword. What See, and that's Lucian Dodge. Mm -hmm. Which you have summoned. But no, summoned. seriously, we were in one. You even made Mike in one. For what purpose? There's a brawler. That oh, in Smash Bros. I have done it. Okay. Yeah, about. Super Smash Brothers. No. Right. Yeah. It was the Nintendo one and where you got to fight other people that you took pictures of. Oh, the f the photo dojo game. Whatever it is, yeah. Well, you're asking me, and I'm telling you an answer, and you're like, "Dude, I don't know." Stop! <laughs> Stop right there! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? She's Fidget. I'm Fidget. Fidget's really cool. Of his sword. And you can actually interact with him and stuff. I'm sorry. I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget. Yes, my name is Fidget. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Fidget's actually a really, really cool character in this game. I'm um. Uh, Shut up. His name is Dust, and he is actually um last year. I, I forget it was last year. I think it was year before last. There was actually a little kid uh, cosplaying as Dust. Hmm. A uh, Subasa? I think, yeah. Uh, I don't think it was last year. I think it was year before last. Or sometime, because I remember seeing it, and I was like, That little kid's dust! That's awesome! And yeah, the sword talks, by the way, if you didn't catch on already. No, really? It's like it's like Saba without the face. Don't compare to anything like with Saba. Saba's <laughs> awesome. Right now, Saba's on like his own new level of awesomeness. He's like, hi, you do not lift up here. girl's skirts. Hmm. You're abusing your powers. No, choice. Yeah. I... no seriously, in the Can Die Ranger, Kiba would honestly lift up girl's skirts with his chi power, and everything was awesome. Yeah, and the, J the J uh, Japanese could get away with that. We, we can't do that. We can't? No. 
we go to we jail. Could, we, we go could. to jail for that. If we don't get caught. Well, no, we could do it, just not okay. have a PG rating. So, um, so I want to illustrate a point here, and I'm not going to give anything away to people who haven't seen this game before, okay? Mm -hmm. You notice there's two choices. Mm -hmm. One's a little, you know, passive, mm -hmm. and the other's a bit aggressive. Yeah. That will become a major plot point way later in the game. Okay. Well, I... Normally, I tend to take the passive side. You mean... It's kind of like the whole mor morality me me meter, you know, good and evil. Mm -hmm. But you'll see why around chapter three or four, I think. Whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? You're taking the out of people. <laughs> well, technically you're not wrong. But it's, it's more of monsters than people. You're being the out of monsters. Like a giant shit anima. A shit anima. <laughs> when I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, oh, good God. it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Oh, I did that. But yeah, just like look at the art style of this game. It's amazing. It's a chest. A chest. Vegeta, I found a chest. <laughs> I guarantee you that Lucian and Eric are gonna are gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but he's holding the sword in reverse stance. Yeah, that's how he fights. You can go down areas, there's all kinds of platforms and stuff. Later you'll be able to double jump. Can you get falling damage on this platformer? No, thank god. It's not like Bubsy! I got a mysterious wall. Yeah, it does give nods to other games too. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, as you see Castlevania, it says mysterious wall chicken. Mm -hmm. So it's like a thing to hmm. nod to hey, Castlevania. Is it, Fidget? <laughs> um, she is kind of your navvy, but not nearly as annoying. <laughs> hey, watch out! Watch out! Hey! I'll kill you. Hey, listen! I'll kill you. <laughs> I will straight up murder you. See, Navi really didn't bother Yeah, I can dash! Woo! Rainbow dash! Rainbow dash! Whoosh! Dashing ability. So you see, it, it's got, like, a lot... The style's very like the Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Mm-hmm. A note. A note. Mysterious wall chicken. Note added. Treasure. Open your quest log. Okay, you can... Bless you. Ugh, thank you. But yeah, um, you go through and there's a lot of stuff to read and blah blah blah. I don't have a key. Shut up, chicken. All right, we found a chest. Correction, we found a locked. Chest. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. What do you think this is? Secret of Mana? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, did you ever play Secret of Mana? Nope. Seriously, like whenever you get a chest, he would like literally. Take it in his hand and beat it on the ground <laughs> to open it. Well, I can't go through there yet. Now, how do you know it was locked unless he looked at it? I mean, tried messing with it. Easy, because he looked at it. There's a lock. It could be one of those fake locks. I've seen some fake locks that look very convincing. Thomas, mm -hmm. just don't question it. I question everything. I question your logic all the time. Bam Bear! Kill him! Kill the deer! Kill Bambi! Well... That's, That's life. life. <laughs> Kill it, baby. Slice off its head. Do Put it. it on a... Yes, do, do it. it. Slice <laughs> off its head. Put it on a mountain. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, they ugly. No, shit. Remember what you have lost? No, no. Mash the buttons. <laughs> now you see why I love Pigeon. Because <laughs> she's just so hyperactive. <laughs> That's right, give me a gold. Give me a gold, hunker. Now, there is actually an achievement later on in this game, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. There is an achievement for getting a thousand hit combo. Oh, okay. And it's actually not, it, it's kind of hard to do, but kind of not. It depends on what part of the game you're in. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've also, I also have this on 360, mm -hmm. and I did it on there. Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? Show me your it power. Is likely, Dust, that I <laughs> shing shing! <laughs> I'll show you something. <laughs> there is a village, village beyond these woods. Really? Perhaps, Perhaps find a way to restore your memories. Yeah, it, 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 
I, I will say this, um, how most games, like, play off Amnesia, mm -hmm. this one does it Fidget. very well. Things are about to get a whole lot worse. And morning start off so well. Your wings are flapping, but your legs are happening. What? I don't know. Did you hear about the furry convention? Yes, I did! And that's actually a really good uh, point to bring this up. Let me see how much time we got real quick. Let's see if we can talk about it. Um... Okay, no. We're gonna have to save that for the next episode of Three Bars and Sissies, where we'll talk about the, um, the supposed terrorists of the furry convention. Yes.